Well, hello there, fellas, and welcome back to another part of the Android Soundboard tutorial series. And this video is actually part of a new little series I'm going to start after the end of this tutorial series that will feature, well, some improvements for the Android Soundboard. Because, you know, we're all continuously learning new things and improve ourselves. And while improving my skills, I stumbled up on some techniques that are really going to improve the overall performance of the soundboard. For this improved version, I will upload a new repository on GitHub where you can get access to this new soundboard with all its features and well you will find it under the name of android soundboard remastered but well let's just begin and insert this little improvement right here while the code of the database handle is still very clear so in this video we are going to improve the database structure by creating an extra class that will define the structure we've already defined at the top of the database handler class here so let's delete this and, well, create the new class. And we're calling this class database scheme. And in there we're creating some abstract classes that we can easily access and well the first one we'll call it main table and those classes will implement an interface called base columns and this interface gives us the benefit that we do not need to implement the underscore id column by ourselves uh, or other uh, basic columns. And in those abstract classes, we're defining our strings now that we can use in our SQL statements. And well, those will have the same values and we can really fast forward that a little bit to the end of the creation. And here you can see I also implemented an extra class for the favorites table that has its own unique uh, table name and well the other columns like the name or the resource ID column are the same. And the last thing we have to do now is to change the references we deleted before to the new class references. And we're doing this by calling the main table class. And we actually don't want this database scheme in front of that because that is a little bit too long. So we're just importing the class uh, that we're create, uh, we created. That has to be database scheme. And then we have to also add the class we imported because otherwise we will get the database scheme in front of that again. So import the class and now we can easily use that here. And actually you have to be a little bit careful here because I made a little mistake here at the beginning because it uh, has to be main table dot table name for the table uh, name in our SQL statement. So be careful there. But well, just change all the references and well, we will fast forward this one here again. And at the end, you will have this nice little structure that can be easily accessed via this class we just created. So I hope it's helped you a little bit and well, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.